And every year, as a nation, as an American people, we unite to remember the heroes and all the lives lost. Ari Height shows us the unique ways people from Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast are remembering the fallen. 846 Monday morning, the exact time the first plane hit the towers. Please stand by for a moment of silence in remembrance of those who were lost on 9-11. Two teenagers, Ryan Wilhelm and Evan Finelli, were in Port St. Lucie, running in the blazing heat in full fire gear. Because they did it in their gear and they had to climb up all 110 flights in full, full gear and even tools carried on, on their shoulders. The two cadets with the St. Lucie Fire District ran 3.43 miles in memory of the 343 firefighters killed on 9-11. It's nice being able to remember them and kind of like tell our generation like, hey, this happened. I felt that as a great way to honor all the lives we lost on September 11th. One of those firefighters lost was Natalie Polner's brother, Chris. A hero. He was my hero. Um, loved his job. He would save a cat out of a tree. He would give you the shirt off of his back. And to remember Chris and all the others who gave their lives that day, much of the staff at the Anderson Cancer Institute at Jupiter Medical Center wore T-shirts today recognizing firefighters. Every day you meet a patient from New York who's retired, FDNY or NYPD, and today I asked if we could remember them, and they had absolutely no problem with it. They said, sure, absolutely. It makes me feel like everybody here knows the men and women that perished that day are heroes. I mean, not all heroes wear capes. And not all heroes are remembered the same way, but today they are remembered. In Jupiter, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.